Making a quick update, uh, girl's not in the house right now, so I'm just gonna hurry this up. This is Degree's hair, he's doing fine, getting the bigger. The Jack Dempsey's back there, poking his head out. Fleckle's upside down right here. Crayfish, I just saw him jump down from up there. He's somewhere around here. And it's a wild caught crayfish. There he is. Alright, off to my girlfriend. Just want to yell and hi. Make it a quick update on all the tanks. Here's a dragon goby. A half beak. Resbora. Striped Resbora or something. Tattooed Molly. A ram. Yeah, Tetra. I don't know if I got that one already. Snail. Snail. Right there. Snail. I think there's a huge ghost shrimp somewhere around here. But I'm not sure where it is right now. Oh, and also there's um a bulldog pleco. That's like about four inches. Alright, off to my 29 gallon. You guys know the what's already what's already in here. There are lots of it. Dirt, dirt, dirt. It's about like two inches at, at least of dirt. And there's a, this nice little plant here, which I forgot the name. Here's a Vestilia, which is, wow, opening, growing. There. It's, it's getting new growth in the top, but hopefully the roots down there are doing better. Um, the bottom of the, le the leaves in the bottom are falling off and they're dying, so I don't know if I have to pick that up or leave them there. So if you guys know, just let me know. I'm thinking about picking them up. I guess, I don't know, White Rocks is a bad choice when you do a dirt attack, by the way. Horrible choice. It looks, it looks like there's like flakes all over the rocks. It, it looks bad. But I, I use what I had. Here's a, another crayfish, a blue one. He's under there somewhere. He hasn't tried to escape, which is a big, big plus. These guys try to escape a lot, and in this small container, and he's still happy. That's amazing. I feed him some of these like twice a day, and he's he's happy. He doesn't want to escape or anything. He knows it. He knows he's good. Here's a new family member. A checkered, checkered garter snake. I think it's checkered. I'm not sure. Look at the pattern. I'll be honest. If you guys know what this is, let me know. He's already full. He can barely bend that area right there because he just ate last night a big, big worm. Here's um, caves and stuff like that. Water. This is organic dirt, which I I have to feed him in a separate container because uh the worm gets full of dirt. And he doesn't like it. Or she, not sure. If you know how to sex a carter snake, let me know. And I think that's it. Alright, thanks for watching. Two guppies from the, my girlfriend's tank. They're in here. Sorry, I didn't explain that. The fact that I'm putting a glass up here, but it turns out that my Home Depot doesn't sell glass or, or acrylic or anything, so I have to order a piece. Those pricks. Alright, thanks for watching. Subscribe, rate, comment, and um, seriously, leave a um, ask me a question or something. <laughs> I'm running out of ideas of videos. I don't really make too many changes on my f my tanks anymore. I don't have time for it. I'm thinking about selling my 55, but I'm not. I, like I really don't want to, but I might have to because I'm trying to focus on this dirty tank. Make some money to make buy some more plants, and I don't know. Thanks for watching. See you guys.